FTO Witty here. Gonna show you how to work the pumps today. Um, first off, this is just a refresher video. If anyone that's already had formal training on the pump, this is not a video to train someone who's never worked the pump before. So first things first, what's supposed to be in your Pelican case? Every set of, every ALS unit should, should have two pumps on it, a holder for your pumps, and one spike set and one add-on set for every pump you have. So I have two pumps, so I have two spikes and two add-on sets for each pump that I have. And you should also have a charger located in there. So I'm gonna make two videos here. The first video I'm gonna show you is just how to put the settings in for a basic setup if you run like an antibiotic drip or something simple like that. And then I'll make a later video showing you guys how to actually set a drip up. You have to actually put a calculation in and set a dosage and concentration. A little more complicated stuff. But today, for this video, we're just gonna show you the easy way to do it. So first things first, when you get your pump, you're gonna press the power button to turn it on. Now, once you load it up, it's gonna run through a quick self-test, which is gonna take about 10, 15 seconds or so. So let it just run through its self-test and then wait for it to done before you can actually put any uh, settings in. Now it's gonna say open door in a certain line or press C to enter parameters. The first thing we're gonna do is put the parameters in first because your patient's likely already on a pump right now. No reason to put the line in first and wait to put the parameters in. Let the patient keep getting the medication they're getting while we get everything set up. So we're gonna press C to put the parameters in first. It'll ask if you wanna use the last therapy, we're gonna hit no. And some, uh, some will ask if you wanna use a drug library, and that is not necessary to do. Now the first thing that pops up will say VTBI, which stands for volume to be infused. So how much fluid are we putting into the patient? So say the patient's on a thousand bag, you gotta do the whole bag, your VTBI will be a thousand. Now likely when you're coming to pick a patient up though, what's gonna happen is they're already on a drip, there's already been medication going in for a short period of time. So if they're on a thousand bag, but they've already got 200 cc's put into the patient, your VTBI will only be 800. So usually you can look at the pump the patient's on and it'll tell you how much has been infused, or certain pumps that hospitals use won't tell you exactly how much is left to go in, but it will tell you how much has been put in. If it's a thousand bag and they've already had 200 put in, you can do some quick math and know you have to put in 800 more. That's about as complicated math as you have to do with the pump. It doesn't get super complicated. So let's say we're gonna do a VTBI of 800. So what we're gonna do, just scroll over to the hundreds place and use the arrow key to go up to 800. And if you wanna do anything else, maybe you wanna 810, whatever it is, you can get the exact number you want. Once you know your VTBI, you just hit OK. Now, usually you're going to know the rate. It should tell you on the pump they're on already. Let's say they're going on a rate of 100 mLs an hour. So we know the rate, we'll just hit OK. And we'll set the rate to 100 mLs an hour. And we'll hit OK. That's it. Now your pump is ready, it's set up and ready to go. Now, say for some reason you don't know the rate, but maybe you know how long it's supposed to take. Maybe you know the time. You can change the time you want it, this medication to be infused at. Right now, it's going to take eight hours for the settings we have. Let's say, for example, you're doing an ambulatory drip, but you know it takes you exactly 10 minutes to do. You want to just put the exact time in. You can go to the minutes place and put the minutes in. So, however you want to do it, like we'll do it for 40 minutes, for example. Real simple. You don't have to get super complicated with the mathematics. Just remember that it's not minutes and seconds, it's hours and minutes. We'll just hit OK. So, that's your settings are all put in. We can actually go ahead and change the line out. Now, up here I have a, a spike bag ready to go, so we can just use that as an example. But the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come here and we're gonna open the line up by pressing the open open door button, open door, we're gonna hit yes. And this is gonna pop open. Okay? So I'm gonna grab my line. And this line's already been bled through. You should always make sure your line is bled through. Now when you're inserting your line here, this can only go in one way. You have your green little tab and you have these two little white tabs, which will line up only one way. The green slot is going to be popped in right here. Just pushes right in so you hear it click. And then just line up your white tabs. This can only go in one way, so you really have to be trying if you want to mess this up. So doing this sideways here, so give me a moment. There we go. There we go. Click your lines in. Once your lines all put in, nice and neat, we just push the door close. It'll close automatically. At this point, we just follow the instructions on the screen. It'll ask you original space line. Just go and hit OK. 
Okay, I was telling you keep the roller clamp closed, which it should already be done. You got your roller clamp closed. I'll tell you to open the clamp, which we'll do. I'll tell you disconnect patient before priming. They ask you, do you want to prime the line? If you already bled the line through, there's no reason to prime it. If you prime, you just push 10 mLs through here and it's already primed, you're over medicating the patient at the rate that we need to be going at. So we're not going to prime the line. Okay? Now it pops back up to the main screen with the same settings you had before, but now if you notice, the top right side of the screen has a little button that's a little symbol that says start, which means your pump's ready to go. So all we have to do is press start, and now your medication is flowing. That's it. If you want to shut it down, just press stop. And if you want to change any settings, you can easily do so. That's video one. Stay tuned for video two. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, let me know.